It's Diana from Siberia. Drew from New York. How are you? I'm good, actually content, good. You're good, good. So tell me, what was it like being on America's Next Top Model? Uh, probably the most surreal experience of my life. Very unexpected. I didn't know how crazy and interesting and uh, like it was gonna be, but yeah. What was unexpected about it? I didn't know how much energy I had to put into <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of a work. A lot of work. I know. When I watch the show, it's like, oh, an hour, you think maybe it's much easier. Like, oh, I could have done that. I could have done that, but oh. It's rigorous. Mm -hmm. What did you learn from the competition? I think I learned to take risks because I know I came in a very safe model, catalog poses, but then um, just with your guidance, I was like, just go for it. Just, you know, I, I was pushing myself. I feel like my body, my, I don't know, I was pushing myself, I think, with, as far as posing and socializing too, because I'm not the most social person. Really? Yeah. I would never say that about you. I know, people think that, but I'm, I'm a homebody, I'm an introvert, never really go out, not even dinner parties. <laughs> but this whole <laughs> experience made me a lot more. I grew up with not, I didn't have any friends, not especially girlfriends. So this, I feel like I'm gonna get so many, so many new friends, that's awesome. Very interesting. I, I learned something new today. Who could you still be friends with after the show? Although in the, in the house, Gina was my uh, biggest competition. But afterwards, I think we can actually bond because we're both a little quiet and same, but then we can go extravagant in other ways. Um, Kyla, definitely. I think we both can do pretty cool, amazing uh, fun. We're both crazy, so that, <laughs> <laughs> that helps. <laughs> but yeah, a bunch of girls, actually. But I think Gina, Kyla, we could do. Is there anyone that got under your skin? Well, it was very difficult with Christina because Christina, I really tried to be her friend. I really tried so hard to understand, but it was just so difficult to get in. Like, just difficult. I'm trying to be your friend. Why are you shutting me down? I feel your pain. <laughs> she is a tough cookie. What is it like having your mom come to the house in the heat of the competition? Oh, it's, 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 it's very touching. I mean, I was very emotional. I wasn't able to talk to her for so long because of the phone situation in the house. So seeing her coming in and she just melted. Like, oh my God, I have goosebumps. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it was just beautiful. And I, I, I don't know, just to see her and she sees me doing something that I went for. And I don't know, just, I feel like she was proud and she actually mentioned that. And then also sharing my story with her was, I mean, I held it on for since I was like 11 or something. So just sharing that that was... And you shared it with her in that moment. Yeah. I told, she couldn't believe it, so she just nodded. I, I think she, she couldn't understand what I'm trying to say at the, at the beginning. And it affected her. And Because I know how she is. She's like me. It's, it just it has to land on her slowly. So sharing that was uh, special, I think. So this competition has really changed your life in, in many ways. In many ways. I know I grew emotionally. Physic as a model, I know I'm much stronger and a, a lot. Mentally, I'm just different. I know I'm going in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going in there in the real life. But let me ask you about one critique that you got. What did you think about Philip Pline's critique of your catwalk? I mean, I was trying to be, like, I was trying to be absorbing and learning, but when he said something about uh, jiggles, something, can you not jiggle? I mean, I can't not jiggle. I really have, as much as I flex the muscle that I, I do have underneath all the goodness, it's just <laughs> jiggles. <laughs> it jiggles, I can't do it. I walk fast, but it's just still jiggles. What do you see as the next five years? Going in there, just not being afraid to socialize with people, asking, talking, and, Creating too, because that's one thing I think I was always holding myself back. Like I, I do have creative voice, and I think after that challenge, a few challenges that we had, I feel like maybe like I can also do my input. Because usually I let people guide me. Like yeah, sure, I, I usually prefer being directed, but this time like no, I can, I have, I can also put something in there. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's, I don't know. I just feel like I'm going like stronger. I'm gonna ask you some rapid fire questions. Oh God. Who's the messiest in the house? Liz. Who's the horniest? Kyla. Who's the funniest? <sighs> Me? Yes. <laughs> Who is the craziest? Oh, 
Me and Kyla? What was it like standing in front of Tyra Banks? Uh, breathtaking. Oh, that's a good answer. Mm -hmm. It was, it's true. It's, I, every time I talk about it, I, it still takes my breath away because it's, it's a, yeah. <laughs> that's so <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Well, good luck. I'm sending you lots of love. Yeah. And we'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Are you ready for more fabulous face-offs? Well, only the next level fear survives, so make sure to subscribe so you can follow along on the competition for the crowning of America's next top model.